Jubilee Evangelical Church Daily Devotional Out of the depths I cry to you In darkest places I will call Incline your ear to me anew And hear my cry for mercy, Lord Were you to count my sinful ways How could I come before your throne Yet full forgiveness meets my gaze I stand redeemed by grace alone For our scripture reading today, please read 2 Samuel chapter 7 verses 1 to 17. 2 Samuel chapter 7 verses 8 to 11. Now then, tell my servant David, this is what the Lord Almighty says. I took you from the pasture, from tending the flock, and appointed you ruler over my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you have gone, and I have cut off all your enemies from before you. Now I will make your name great, like the names of the greatest men on earth, and I will provide a place for my people Israel, and will plant them so that they can have a home of their own and no longer be disturbed. Wicked people will not oppress them anymore, as they did at the beginning and have done ever since the time I appointed leaders over my people Israel. I will also give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord declares to you that the Lord himself will establish a house for you. Temporary Temple versus Eternal Temple David wanted something temporary for the Lord, but God wanted to build something eternal for David. The temple was something temporary 
that would eventually be destroyed during the time of King Nebuchadnezzar. God wanted to build David a house that would not be destroyed. He promised that the throne of David's son would be secure forever. Through the passage, we can learn the following. God's timing. Often, we want to rush into doing things for God without consulting with Him first. Sometimes, God tells us to wait or not to do it yet because He intends for someone else to do it. Godly counsel. If David has not consulted with Nathan about building the temple and God has not spoken through Nathan, David might have built the temple. This shows the importance of coming to God in prayer first before doing anything and the importance of having godly people in our lives whom we can seek counsel from. Do you have godly people in your lives whom you can approach? God's Blessing God did not have to create us, but He chose to. He did not have to die on the cross for our sins, but He wanted to. There's nothing we can give God that He does not have because He is God. God created us for His glory, and we are to live for this purpose. Prayer Heavenly Father, we often rush into actions without consulting you. Help us to be patient and listen for your direction. Lord, grant us people who will provide godly counsel in our lives. We acknowledge your immeasurable blessings. You created us for your glory, and we commit to living our lives in alignment with this purpose. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.